unusual situation. I also talked today to one of the men at the center of political drama in a divided house back in 2007 about how he ended up as speaker and what the role the future governor played back then. Yeah. And will we have to meet this moment, not just to elect the first black man lieutenant governor of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, not just to make the first black woman the speaker yeah. of the House of Pennsylvania. Even before the November election, Pennsylvania Democrats talking about making House Democratic leader Joanna McClinton speaker of the House in Harrisburg. But after Democrats won enough seats to flip the chamber, it's still not clear who will get the speaker's gavel. Democrats won 102 seats in the general election. But because one member died and two others resigned, Democrats have only 99 members to Republicans 101. It's leading to uncertainty and drama for the speaker vote, more than 15 years after a tight margin led to an unconventional outcome. How did you end up speaker? Well, it happened on New Year's Eve. Denny O'Brien is a Philadelphia Republican who was elected speaker when Democrats had a slim one-vote edge in 2007. Part of the conversations behind the scenes, now governor-elect and then state representative Josh Shapiro. And Josh Shapiro, who is entering his second term in the legislature, called and said, uh, Denny, do you want to become Speaker of the House? I said, where are you and how much have you had to drink? And he goes, no, I'm serious. He, what followed, O'Brien says, uh, were conversations you know, with then-Governor Ed Rendell and other lawmakers and an insistence by O'Brien that he would not switch parties. Ultimately, O'Brien was elected Speaker in a bipartisan vote, serving a divided House. How did the chamber operate well, with such a tight margin? I ended up being the deciding vote on a number of issues. And, um, and the reality was I had decided, because of the unusual way that I was gifted the speakership, was that my mission wasn't to hold on to it. My mission was to accomplish whatever I could during those two years. Do you think something like what happened when you became speaker could happen now? Well, I think anything's possible. And I think um, both sides are probably looking for uh, a number of votes that will put them over the top. His advice? I think the one thing is, if you start making a transactional, like I'll promise you this, for that, then you lose credibility and nobody trusts you because you don't know what promise you made to somebody else or whether you're going to keep that process or keep that promise. Now, depending on how things play out this time, it is also possible whoever ends up as speaker tomorrow may not hold the job very long. Things could change after special elections to fill those open seats. I'll be in Harrisburg tomorrow for the vote and to talk to lawmakers about what happens next. I'm Lauren Make, NBC 10 News.